One of two teens charged in connection with the murder of a store clerk is now being denied is now behind bars and denying that accusation. A lot of Taylor sat down with our Garrett Berger for a jailhouse interview today. He tells us why he confessed to a crime he now says he didn't commit. Until they scientifically prove that I did it, I didn't do it. Olanda Taylor's claiming innocence, even though, according to an affidavit, he admitted to entering the Diamond Food Mart to rob it and to shooting 23-year-old Zachary Benavides. Because the detective kept harassing me in the interview room. I told her I didn't do it. She kept harassing me. I told her I didn't do it. She kept harassing me. And I said, okay, I did it. And then they took me down the book, and that was it. If convicted, he could face the death penalty, something Benavides' father says he wants to happen. To daddy, I don't know what you're talking about. You wish I get the death penalty. And I've been in the hell and back already. And this ain't nothing new. Do you recognize this guy? When we showed him a picture of Benavides, Taylor claimed not to know him besides that he was on the news. That's the man that police say you shot. I shot. I shot. They say I don't you know shot him they, several times. I don't know what they talk about. I don't even own a gun. And while police say Taylor ID'd 18-year-old Anthony Carter as the man with him who shot a customer, Taylor claims he's never heard the name. Taylor is also charged with aggravated robbery for a theft earlier that afternoon at a Metro PCS store. Police say the images from surveillance cameras from the Metro PCS store match those at the Diamond Food Mart. Police identified Taylor off of the Metro PCS footage. He denies committing that crime as well. Outside the Bear County Jail, Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.